Bird Nest Cookies Looking for a fun and creative way to celebrate spring? Look no further than these adorable bird nest cookies. With just a few simple ingredients and a bit of imagination, you can whip up a batch of these tasty treats in no time. Whether you're looking to impress your friends and family with your culinary skills or just want a tasty treat to enjoy on your own, these bird nest cookies are sure to be a hit. So why wait? Get your mixing bowls and oven mitts ready and let's get baking. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Cookie and today I'll show you how to make a delicious and unique treat, bird nest cookies. These cookies, also known as basket cookies, are a traditional Italian dessert that is perfect for Easter or any springtime celebration. Let's get started. There's just something about a warm gooey cookie straight out of the oven that makes my heart skip a beat. Whether it's a classic chocolate chip, creamy peanut butter, or spicy gingerbread, there's a cookie for every mood and craving. But talking about bird nest cookies, I absolutely love these cookies. Firstly, they have the perfect balance of soft and chewy. The texture is just heavenly and I can't get enough of it. Secondly, the flavor is spot on. The combination of chocolate chips, nuts, and a hint of vanilla really hits the spot for me. Ingredients To make these cookies, you'll need the following ingredients. First, let's start with the crust. You'll need three ounces of cream cheese, one stick of butter, and one cup of flour. Make sure both the cream cheese and butter are at room temperature before you begin. Now for the filling, you'll need one and a quarter cups of brown sugar, one tablespoon of butter, and I love to add walnuts, so I'll add one and a half cups of chopped walnuts, two large eggs, make sure they are not the tiny ones, and lastly, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. First, we'll start by making the dough for our baskets. In a stand mixer, add one stick of butter and let it work for a bit with a paddle attachment until it becomes fluffy. Next, add in four ounces of cream cheese and let the mixer work its magic until the two ingredients are well combined. Now it's time to add the flour. Slowly pour in one cup of all-purpose flour and continue to mix until it's fully absorbed. Once the dough is ready, it's time to shape into a ball and place in a plastic bag. Pop it in the fridge for about an hour to let it firm up. While the dough is chilling, we can prepare the filling. In a bowl, crack in two eggs and beat them until they are fully mixed. Add in one tablespoon of melted butter and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and give everything a good stir. Now it's time to add in the star of the show, the walnuts. Chop up about one cup of walnuts and mix them into the egg mixture. Finally, add in half a cup of brown sugar and continue to mix until the sugar has fully melted. Once the dough is chilled and the filling is ready, it's time to start assembling our baskets. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and grab a mini cupcake pan. Take small pieces of dough about the size of a golf ball and place them each in the cavity of the pan. Use your fingers to press the dough against the bottom and the sides of the cavity, forming a little basket shape. Now it's time to fill our baskets with the delicious walnut mixture. Drop about a teaspoon of the filling into each basket, making sure not to overfill them. Once all the baskets are filled, it's time to bake. Pop the pan into the oven and let the baskets bake for about 12 to 15 minutes until they are golden brown and fragrant. And that's it! Your mini cream cheese walnut baskets are ready to be enjoyed. These bite-sized treats are perfect for any occasion and are sure to be a hit with your friends and family. Tips Here are a few helpful tips to get those perfect cookies. Firstly, make sure you soften your butter before you start. If your butter is too hard, it will be difficult to cream it together with the sugar. Secondly, use a cookie scoop to make evenly sized dough balls. This will help your cookies bake evenly and look more uniform. Thirdly, don't overbake your cookies. They should be slightly golden but still soft in the center. And lastly, use a variety of chocolate eggs or candy coated eggs to add some color and variety to your cookies. Storing these cookies. If you're like most people, you probably have more bird nest cookies than you can eat in one sitting. So how do you store them to keep them fresh and delicious? First, let's start with the basics. Bird nest cookies should always be stored in an airtight container to prevent them from drying out or becoming stale. Glass or plastic containers with tight fitting lids work well. If you're using a plastic container, make sure it's food grade and safe for storing cookies. Now let's talk about temperature. Bird nest cookies are best stored at room temperature, away from heat and direct sunlight. This will help prevent the chocolate from melting or becoming too soft. If you live in a hot or humid climate, it's a good idea to store these cookies in a cool, dry place to keep them fresher for longer. If you want to keep your bird nest cookies for an extended period of time, you can store them in the refrigerator. 
Just make sure to wrap them tightly in plastic wrap or aluminum foil before placing them in the fridge. This will help prevent the cookies from absorbing any unwanted odors or flavors from other foods. When you're ready to enjoy your bird nest cookies, just take them out of the fridge and let them sit at room temperature for a few minutes before serving. This will help the chocolate soften and become more enjoyable to eat. Thank you for joining me today in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and give it a try at home. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new recipe. Also, let me know in the comments below if you have any recipe requests or suggestions. I love hearing from you all. Until next time, happy cooking!